Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Konjelska, and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. Do you know the name of Nina Novak? Probably not, but you should. She became one of the most recognizable Polish ballet dancers in USA. And right now, being 97 years old, she's with me in the studio. Madam, it's absolutely incredible. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting me. Let's move back in the history and watch how Nina Novak looked on the stage. Madam, during your later career, when you were already world-known ballerina and performing all over the United States, you visited Poland twice. Once in 1961, when you performed in Warsaw and in Poznan, and later on, a few years later, in 1978, once again, when you were able already danced in the Grand Theater, so in Teatr Wielki, in Warsaw. Tell us, please, what was your impression of Poland and how both of those performances looked like? Uh, first, uh, it was uh, something amazing, amazing, because my mother was alive. She was in the first uh, role to see me, see me in, in the role Giselle, in, in, the, in the other roles, and not in the big theater. The theater was not finished yet, in the uh, theater uh, oper operetta. So you dance in operetta because the Grand Theater. Yeah, I dance Swan Lake and Giselle. Yes, to, I understand. And I went to. to uh, in a smaller theater because the Grand Theater of Warsaw was not finished not yet. Not finished. I understand. And uh, incredible, incredible uh, because uh, my uh, colleagues were still in life. They remember me as a child, they remember me as a young, uh, 15 years old before the war. So, so enthusiasm was incredible. And uh, well, I, I danced the best I could, naturally, one and the other with the Polish dancer. Well, you also met your family for the first time since your travels to USA. Since I left. USA. And I was not permitted at that time to live with them. I had to stay in a hotel. I had a person to, 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 to guide me because it was a time when Soviets were still here in power. And so I had a, a woman who was with the cars who were taking me every place and watching. Absolutely, I understand. And, and I came as an American. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And uh, what was the reaction of your family? It's, 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 well, uh, they were coming to the to, to, to hotel to see me. And my sisters, I remember this is very private, but they were uh, fighting who is going to bat me. <laughs> making me like a little girl, they, they having me like a little girl. They were so much uh, happy to see me, and uh, I said I am a grown-up person, and and they were so loving me. So it's really this time was the, one of the best of my life to come back here and to receive uh, such a welcome. How long did you stay in Poland? Just days. Just days. The week, week, two weeks, three weeks the most. Because I had to come back and to dance in the United States still. I understand. Did you never thought about taking your sister, for example, back with you to the US? No, they, they, first of all, I, they, uh, they were under regime when I came to uh, Russia. They couldn't go. 
My yes. brother, uh, I uh, took him with his wife because of a dancer, because of a, 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 a military American help me to, to bring to the United States my brother and his wife. I understand. And they were also in the company, Valerius, for some time. And they went, uh, they wanted to have children. So they left the company. And I stay working. Dancing, in the, yes. Still with the company. And, and also I, I, I got married later and went to South America. And the second trip to Poland in 1971, 78, excuse me, when you visited once again Warsaw and you were able to dance in, in the opera. Grand Theater in the Opera House, rebuilt once again. Yes. I uh, was so happy to dance again. And uh, it was a little different with uh, politically. I didn't really appreciate so much uh, this uh, kind of visit like the other. And it was uh, also like always in the theater are personal things. Yes. Personal achievements, personal. And uh, I thought the, I didn't want to take anybody's place here. I had such a high place as uh, outside, so that I decided not to stay not here to stay in and to uh, fight. Uh, I made in my life lots of fights. <laughs> so I wanted to, and also I was very well known. In the US. And, and also in the US and uh, South America. And not only in the North America, South America. And here to make you didn't want it to bargain uncomfortable it for some of the people or, or to uh, take uh, someone's role. Role? So, yeah, no. You didn't say it. Yeah, so I decided that, that uh, um, Poland and that moment was not yet for me. I understand. How much I love Poland and always did. So that you came was, back I, to I your uh, that is, I, I did always, and I never uh, forget language, and uh, only uh, using different other languages, but not Polish. <laughs> yeah, so you never, all those years you spent outside, abroad, you never gave up Polish, and you never. always remember never. it. Never, never. That's extremely important. Yeah, and in in Venezuela when I lived, I brought from Poland costumes, Polish, and I gave performances from Mazurka and everything what was Polish, always. This uh, embassy of Poland, they know. So you are an ambassador of Poland all over the world. Yes, I received many medals. I have many, many collections of medals. Well, that's absolutely <laughs> incredible life, and it's hard to put it in one conversation even, and to sum up and to understand it. But it's, it's fabulous, it's good. And we will continue with the story of Nina Novak in another episode. And thank you for watching Poland Daily Culture.